um, sadly we are not recognizing and realizing that right now there is actually a third world war already fully established and um, this is not just being pessimistic and uh, negative not at all this is a reality and uh, this reality we are living day in day out and we are enjoying our pizza and lots of people they are not thinking about what's the consequences and what's going on as a matter of fact number one we are totally against the killing of the innocent people in ukraine uh, ukraine ukraine or anywhere in the world but in reality um, the killing of the ukrainian people it is the collateral damage of the killing of the syrian innocent people so this way um, putin uh, flexed and not putin don't just say putin and just trying to show that some one man show it's not putin and the generals and the criminals and those who are collaborating and cooperating with him they are the one who flex their muscles on the innocent people in Syria, um, civilians, uh, widows, you name it, children. And they thought that they came strong out of that. And that strength gave them such an arrogance that they flex their muscles on Ukraine. In reality, they are flexing their muscles on Europe, on the state, and you name it. And uh, this is actually the management of the Creator, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, you want to believe it, you don't want to believe it. I'm not talking here religious. I'm talking here that there is a creator in charge. Because if all the money in the world spend to make Russia fall in this trap, it will not work. But the creator made them fall in this trap out of their arrogance. Not only that, the blood of those thousands and millions, more than a million murder in Syria, this will not just go in pain it will not at all god is in charge god is watching don't think that allah the creator it means unaware of what the transgressors are doing actually allah is fully aware fully in charge so my dear brothers and sisters let us just realize that if you at the time of america fighting uh, in Afghanistan if you go to Pakistan as an Arab and buy rice just buy rice or biryani they will call you terrorist and look now the whole world is giving weapons to Ukraine Ukraine right and um, this is really a third world war may Allah only Allah only the creator can make it stop because there's so much of transgression oppression tyranny there's so much of killing there's so much of bloodshed that only the creator can make it stop so this way when you look and realize that Ukraine it is the collateral damage of Syria because when the Russians, they fiddled with the lives of the innocent people, rest assured, none of them, they're going to have a good life. They are not having a good life. We saw on the TV, we saw some of these pilots, they are captured, some of these fighters, they are already uh, murdered or killed in, in uh, an Ukrainian border, you name it. So this would teach us that... The punch, it could come from different direction and different hand. The Syrian hands right now, you may think that it is crippled. Never. It is not crippled because they are raising their hand. If they are not using it for a punch, they are raising their hand to complain to the creator about the transgressions and the crimes that happened against them and wait a second here i am not after giving a lecture here but i'm just after venting what's in my heart that to see day in day out the brutality the brutality against the innocent syrians my dear brothers and sisters in humanity in islam in you name it right and the world is enjoying their pizza and enjoying their vacation as if nothing happened my dear brothers and sisters let me just tell you this <sighs> syrians blood the children's blood 
the orphan's blood, this actually, the price of it, that the Russians right now living a choking type of a life. It is actually truly choking type of a life. Some of them going to learn, like, how can I break my hand, break my leg so I don't go to the army? They're living choking type of a life. And those who supported the Russians and turned a black eye, right, a blind eye, when they were killing the Syrians, when they were torturing them and starvation, segregation, elimination, deterioration, you name it, and the world is turning their face away, pretending that's nothing happening, they are suffering. Yeah, they are suffering. Europe is suffering. Europe supporters are suffering. Europe tales at NAB. Europe is suffering as well. So, in a nutshell, in a nutshell, after more than a million shaheed, shaheed means murder in Syria, don't think the world is going to have a beautiful party. Don't think the world is going to enjoy their pizza. Trust me. What's coming? Only Allah. Only God can stop it. Only God can help us survive and thrive what's coming because we're just about to relax and relieve from Corona. Ukraine happened. Ukraine happened. And Ukraine. Ukraine. We are totally against the killing of Ukrainian people. But when we ignore the lives of the Syrians. Look, look at the fire. Look at the fire is reaching all those who ignored the killing of the Syrian innocent people. All of them. The fire is reaching them. And right now the world is boiling. May Allah protect you all.